Lesson 1, Liberalizing Trends. Hey Anna, did you hear about the changes happening in our society? You mean the gradual trend towards liberalization? Yes, I've been reading about that. It's been a slow process, but it seems like things are becoming more open and free over time. Definitely. The 20th century saw a lot of progress in terms of individual rights and freedoms. It's been a long road, but I'm glad we're moving in a more progressive direction. Me too. I think it's important for society to continuously evolve and become more inclusive. Absolutely. As the world gets more connected, people are exposed to new ideas and perspectives. Exactly. Openness and acceptance are key to creating a better, more just world for everyone. Well said. I'm hopeful that this trend will continue, don't you think? Lesson 2, Prioritizing Tasks Hey Anna, I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed lately. There's just so much to do. I know what you mean. It's important to prioritize your tasks and focus on what's most important. You're right. But it's so hard to decide what should take priority. Try making a list and categorizing your tasks by urgency and importance. That can help you see what needs to be done first. Good idea. I'll give that a try. It's just been a lot to juggle, you know? I understand. But don't forget to take breaks and take care of yourself too. Burnout won't help anyone. You're absolutely right. I need to be better about that. Work-life balance is key. Exactly. Once you get your priorities straight, you'll feel so much more in control. I'm sure you're right. Thanks for the advice, Anna. I really appreciate it. Lesson 3, Keeping it Fresh Morning, Anna. I've been thinking a lot about fashion lately. Oh, really? What's on your mind? Well, I feel like I've been in a bit of a style rut. I need some new inspiration. I totally understand. It's important to switch things up and keep your look fresh. Absolutely. I want to feel confident and stylish, but I'm not sure where to start. Have you tried browsing fashion blogs or Instagram for new outfit ideas? That's always a great way to get inspired. That's a good point. I'll have to check that out. Maybe I'll even try a new trend or two. Go for it. Trying new things can really breathe new life into your wardrobe. You know, you're right. I shouldn't be afraid to step outside my comfort zone. Lesson 4, Texas Diversity Hey Anna, I was just talking to someone about Texas the other day. Really? What were they saying about it? Well, a lot of people still think of cowboys and Indians when they think of Texas. 
Huh, that's a bit outdated. Texas is so much more than that these days. Exactly. It's actually a hub for high-tech industries and innovation. Wow, I didn't realize that. I always just pictured the classic cowboy image. Yeah, the state has really evolved. It's a diverse place with lots of culture and opportunity. That's really interesting. I'll have to learn more about the modern Texas. It sounds like it's more complex than I thought. For sure. There's a lot more to it than the stereotypes. It's a dynamic and thriving state. Lesson 5, Paying the Bill Hey Anna, I need to settle the bill. Can I pay with my credit card? Sure, John. Most restaurants accept credit cards these days. Do you have a preferred card you'd like to use? I usually use my Visa card. Is that okay with you? Definitely, Visa is widely accepted. Let me get the bill for you. Great, thanks. I appreciate you helping me with this. No problem at all. Here's the bill, just go ahead and insert your card whenever you're ready. All right, let me take a look. Hmm, the total seems a bit higher than I expected. Oh, did you have an issue with the charges? I'd be happy to review the bill with you. No, no issues. I was just surprised. But it's all good, I've got it covered. Inserts card. Lesson 6, Carving Pumpkins Hey Anna, have you ever carved a pumpkin before? Why yes, it's one of my favorite fall traditions. I love carving jack-o'-lanterns. Me too. I remember as a kid, my family would get this very large round orange vegetable called a pumpkin and cut a hole in the top. Exactly. Then you scoop out all the seeds and stringy stuff from the inside. Right, and then you can use a knife to carve a face or design into the pumpkin. It's so much fun. Definitely. I always try to get creative with the designs. Have you carved any cool pumpkins lately? Not this year yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it soon. Pumpkin carving is such a classic autumn activity. I agree, it really gets me in the spirit of the season. We should plan a pumpkin carving party. That's a great idea. I'm in, let's do it. Lesson 7, Honoring the Fallen Hey Anna, did you catch the memorial service on TV today? Yes, I did. It was a moving tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Absolutely. It's so important that we take the time to honor their memory. I agree. Those who gave their lives so that our nation might live, it's altogether fitting and proper that we remember their bravery and sacrifice. Well said. 
Their actions and legacy continue to inspire us all. Definitely. It's a somber but necessary reminder of the price of freedom. Indeed. We owe them a debt of gratitude that can never truly be repaid. Absolutely. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. I'm glad we have these ceremonies to pay our respects. It's the least we can do. Lesson 8. Celebrating Achievements Hey Anna, I heard the great news. Congratulations on your big promotion. Thank you, John. I'm still a bit in disbelief, to be honest. Don't be. Your dedication and perseverance have really paid off. I appreciate that. I've been working hard for this, so it's very rewarding. I'm sure it is. You definitely deserve it, you've earned this opportunity. Thank you, that means a lot coming from you. I'm excited for this next chapter. As you should be. I know you're going to excel in this new role. I'll certainly do my best. I'm grateful for all the support along the way. Of course. Celebrate this accomplishment, you've more than earned it. Lesson 9, Asking for Directions Excuse me, Anna, could you tell me where I can check in for the check encounters? Ah, uh, the check encounters are taking place over there, just across the way. Great, thank you. I want to make sure I don't miss the start of the event. No problem at all. The registration desk is right in front of the main entrance. Wonderful, I appreciate you pointing me in the right direction. Happy to help. Just head straight across and you'll see the check-in area. Excellent, that's exactly what I needed. Thanks again for your assistance. Anytime. I hope you have a wonderful time at the check encounters. I'm sure I will. Thanks for making it easy to find my way. Lesson 10 Content Marketing Gains Popularity. Hey Anna, have you noticed how content marketing is becoming more popular these days? Yes, I have. Creating valuable content to engage the audience seems to be the way to go. Absolutely. It's a great way to build brand awareness and connect with potential customers. Definitely. And the best part is, it doesn't have to be all sales why. Just providing useful, informative content can go a long way. Exactly. People appreciate learning something new or getting practical tips from a brand they trust. Agreed. It's all about adding value and building relationships, rather than just pushing a product. Exactly. Have you started incorporating more content marketing into your own strategy? I have, and it's been really effective. The engagement and leads we've seen have been quite impressive. 
That's great to hear. It's definitely something I'm looking to do more of as well. Lesson 11, Reading Time Hey Anna, do you ever get bored during long commutes or delays? Yes, I do sometimes. I usually bring a book with me to read when I have to wait. That's a great idea. Reading helps pass the time. I prefer to listen to music when I'm stuck waiting. Music is nice too. It can really help relax you during frustrating delays. Exactly. Do you have any other tricks for dealing with long waits? Sometimes I'll try to catch up on work or respond to emails if I have my laptop. Or I'll just people watch and come up with stories about them. Ah, people watching is fun. It's amazing the kinds of interesting characters you see out there. Definitely. There's never a dull moment when you're observing others. Very true. Well, I'm glad we both have ways to stay entertained during those boring wait times. Lesson 12, Exploring New Opportunities Morning Anna, I wanted to get your thoughts on some new business ideas we've been discussing. Ooh, what have you got in mind? I'm always excited to explore new opportunities. Well, we've identified a few untapped market segments where we could really excel. I think we should conduct a thorough analysis to see what the potential is. That's great, John. Identifying underserved areas is key to finding new avenues for growth. Exactly. I'd love to get your input on the research we've done so far. When do you have some time to dive in? How about later this afternoon? I should have a free couple of hours then to really dig into the details. Perfect, that works for me. I'll send over the materials beforehand so you can take a look. Sounds good. I'm eager to see what promising new directions we might be able to pursue. Awesome, I appreciate you taking the time. This could be huge for us if we play our cards right. Lesson 13, Boosting Brand Awareness Hey Anna, I wanted to get your thoughts on a marketing idea we've been considering. Sure, what do you have in mind? I'm always interested to hear about new ways to raise our profile. Well, we've been thinking about collaborating with some key influencers in our industry. Oh, that's an interesting approach. Leveraging influencers can definitely help boost brand awareness. That's what we're hoping. We've identified a few people with large, engaged followings that align well with our target audience. Nice, that sounds very promising. Have you started reaching out to gauge their interest? Not yet, I wanted to get your input first. What do you think the pros and cons might be? Well, the upside is the potential to tap into new audiences and lend more credibility to our brand. Definitely. And if we can find the right partnerships, it could be a very cost-effective way to market. 
Lesson 14, Dealing with Tragedy Morning Anna, I wanted to check in and see how you're holding up. Sighs, to be honest, John, it's been a really tough few days. The news has been just heartbreaking. I know, it's been awful. People are mourning on both sides, and it's so hard to make sense of it all. Absolutely. It's just devastated our community. I can't imagine the pain those families must be feeling. Me neither. It's the kind of tragedy that makes you question the worst in humanity. Yes, exactly. How can people be capable of such evil? It's just so distressing to think about. I agree. But in times like these, I try to focus on the good, the people coming together to support one another. That's a good perspective. Seeing the compassion and resilience in the face of such darkness is important. Definitely. We can't let the hateful acts define us. We have to hold on to the hope and unity. Lesson 15, A Budding Friendship Hey Anna, I heard you've been trying out some new hobbies. That sounds really interesting. What kinds of things have you been exploring? Morning, John. I've actually started painting and playing the guitar. It's been a lot of fun exploring these creative outlets. I find it so relaxing and rewarding. Painting and guitar, huh? That's impressive. I've always wanted to learn an instrument. Maybe you could give me some tips sometime. Absolutely. I'd be happy to share what I've learned. And you should definitely give painting a try, it's such a great way to express yourself. That's a great idea. I'll have to check out some art supplies. Who knows? Maybe I'll discover a hidden talent. I'm sure you will. It's amazing how trying new hobbies can open up whole new worlds. I'm really enjoying this creative journey. I'm glad to hear that. It's always good to have activities that allow you to unwind and explore your interests. Definitely. It's been a wonderful way for me to de-stress and find a bit of balance in my life. I really recommend it. Well, color me inspired. I can't wait to get started on my own artistic adventures. Lesson 16, Hobbies and Interests Hey Anna, I heard you've been taking up some new hobbies. What kind of things have you been getting into? Oh, that's right. I've actually started painting and playing the guitar. They've been really fun and relaxing activities for me. That sounds interesting. I've been wanting to try painting for a while now. What made you decide to pick it up? Well, I've always enjoyed art, but never really had the time to explore it. Since the pandemic, I've had more free time, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's been really rewarding. That's great. And the guitar? Have you played before or is that a new instrument for you? The guitar is brand new for me. 
I've always wanted to learn, so I figured now was the perfect time. It's been a bit challenging, but I'm enjoying the process of learning something new. That's awesome. I play the piano, so I can imagine the guitar has a similar learning curve. But it's so satisfying when you start to get the hang of it. Absolutely. Do you have any other hobbies you're into? I'd love to hear about them. Well, I've started getting really into gardening, actually. I've been growing some herbs and succulents, and it's been a great way to unwind. Lesson 17, Gardening Gurus Hello Anna, did you know succulents are really easy to care for? I've been growing some at home. Oh really? I've been wanting to try my hand at gardening. What kind of succulents do you have? I have a variety, some echeveria, jade plants, and even a few cacti. They're so low maintenance, it's been fun watching them thrive. That's awesome. I personally enjoy growing herbs like basil and mint. They add so much flavor to my cooking. Herbs are great too. I've been thinking about starting an herb garden. Any tips? Definitely start with easy ones like basil, mint, and rosemary. Make sure they get enough sunlight and water them regularly. Good to know. I'll have to give that a try. Gardening has been such a relaxing hobby for me. I can see why. There's something therapeutic about nurturing plants and watching them grow. Absolutely. It's like a little oasis in the middle of the city. I'm really enjoying it. Lesson 18, Interview Prep Hey Anna, I heard you have an interview tomorrow. How are you feeling about it? Morning, John. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. This is a really important opportunity for me. I'm sure you'll do great. You've been preparing so hard for this. Thanks, John. I'm trying to stay positive, but there's a lot riding on this interview. Remember to focus on highlighting your strengths and relevant experience. You've got this. You're right. I need to go in there confident and show them why I'm the best fit for the role. Exactly. And don't forget to practice your answers to common interview questions. That will help you feel more prepared. Good point. I've been going over potential questions and rehearsing my responses. Hopefully, that pays off. I'm sure it will. Just take a few deep breaths before you go in, and you'll be amazing. Lesson 19, Reasonable Adjustments Hey Anna, I was thinking we could make a few adjustments to the proposal. What do you think? Hello John, sure, I'm open to discussing any reasonable adjustments. What did you have in mind? Well, I was looking at the timeline and I think we could extend the deadline by a couple of weeks. That should give us more time to finalize everything. Okay, that sounds reasonable. And what about the budget? 
Do you think we need to make any changes there? Hmm, let me take another look. I believe we can keep the budget as is, but we may need to shift a few line items around. All right, that's good. Let's proceed with those adjustments then. Sounds good. I'll update the documents and send them over to you for review. Great, I appreciate you taking the time to go through this with me. It's helpful to find ways to improve the plan. Absolutely, working together is the best way to make this project a success. Lesson 20, Natural Beauties Hey Anna, have you heard about that new outdoor destination they're promoting? No, what's it like? I'm always looking for places with great natural scenery. Well, apparently it's less commercialized than Banff, but it still has stunning views and landscapes. Oh, that sounds perfect. What kind of scenery can you find there? From what I've read, it has deeply forested areas, pristine lakes, and even some impressive mountain peaks. Wow, that really does sound like a hidden gem. I'd love to check it out sometime. Same here. We should look into planning a trip there, maybe in the next few months. Definitely, I'm already picturing the beautiful hikes and photography opportunities. Me too, it'll be a nice change of pace from the busy city. I can't wait to explore the natural beauty. Lesson 21, Lincoln's Legacy Hey Anna, did you know that in April 1865, just months after the Civil War ended, Lincoln was assassinated? Oh my, I didn't realize that. Such a tragic event, so soon after the war. Yeah, it was a shocking turn of events. Lincoln had led the country through one of its darkest periods. It must have been incredibly difficult for the nation to lose him at such a critical time. Absolutely. Lincoln's legacy as a leader and his impact on the country is still felt today. That's true. He's remembered as one of the greatest presidents in American history. Definitely. His vision and determination played a huge role in preserving the Union. It's amazing how one person can leave such an enduring mark on a nation's history. Absolutely. Lincoln's legacy is a testament to the power of principled leadership. Lesson 22, Travel Planning Hey Anna, I wanted to double-check some dates for our upcoming trip. Sure, what dates were you looking at? I was thinking of booking from the 15th to the 20th of next month. Okay, let me take a look. Those dates should work well for me. Great. I'll go ahead and make the reservations then. Sounds good. Just send me the details once you have them finalized. Will do. I also wanted to ask if you had any preferences on where we stay? 
hmm, maybe something a little more off the beaten path this time? Good idea, I'll see what I can find that's a bit more unique and charming. Lesson 23, Work-Life Balance Hey Anna, how have you been managing your work-life balance lately? To be honest, it's been a bit of a challenge. I feel like I'm constantly juggling responsibilities. I hear you. It can be so easy to let work consume too much of our time and energy. Exactly. I've been trying to be more intentional about setting boundaries and making time for myself. That's a great approach. What kinds of things have you been doing to maintain that balance? Well, I've been trying to unplug more in the evenings and make sure I'm taking breaks during the day. Wonderful. Those small steps can make a big difference in the long run. Definitely. And I've also been prioritizing exercise and spending time with friends and family. Nice, that's so important. Finding that work-life harmony takes effort, but it's so worth it. Lesson 24, Weekend Breakfast Hey Anna, my mom makes the best bacon and eggs on the weekends. That sounds delicious. My dad just has a cup of coffee in the morning. Really? Doesn't he get hungry? He says he's not a big breakfast person. He likes to keep it simple. I could never skip breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. I agree. Breakfast gives you energy to start the day off right. Exactly. And nothing beats homemade bacon and eggs. So comforting. I'll have to try your mom's cooking sometime. It must be wonderful. You're welcome to come over this weekend if you'd like. I'm sure she'd love to have you. Lesson 25, Controversial TV Shows Hey Anna, have you heard about that new controversial TV show? You mean the one that some people say is harmful to society? Yeah, that's the one. What do you think about it? Well, I can see both sides of the argument. While some find it offensive, others believe it's just entertainment. That's true. People have the freedom to choose what they want to watch. Exactly. As long as it's not illegal, individuals should be able to make their own choices. I agree. But I can understand the concerns about the potential negative impacts. It's a complex issue, for sure. There are valid points on both sides. I guess it comes down to personal opinion and values in the end. Lesson 26, Hope in Politics You know, I've been thinking a lot about the state of politics these days. Yeah, it can be pretty discouraging at times. But I still have hope. 
Me too. I believe we can continue to exist and even expand that hope. Absolutely. What is sought from politics is to build a better future. Exactly. We may not agree on everything, but we can still work together. Definitely. Finding common ground is so important. I agree. If we focus on our shared values, we can make progress. That's a great perspective. It's easy to get caught up in the negativity. But we can't lose sight of the bigger picture. There's always room for hope. Lesson 27, Trying New Foods Hey Anna, have you ever tried any traditional Indian food? Yes, I love it. The flavors are so complex and delicious. I've been wanting to try it for a while now. What do you recommend? Absolutely, I'd be happy to share some of my favorites. Let's see. Ooh, tell me more. I'm always up for trying new and exciting dishes. Well, the curry dishes are amazing, especially the chicken tikka masala. That sounds incredible. I'll have to put that on my list to try. And the naan bread is a must-have. So fluffy and perfect for dipping. Mmm, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I can't wait to dive in. Lesson 28, Breast Implants Hello Anna, did you hear about the latest breast implant surgery technology? No, I haven't. What's new with breast implants these days? Apparently, they can now use artificial substances to enlarge the breasts during surgery. Wow, that's interesting. I didn't realize they had advanced the implant procedure so much. Yeah, it's quite fascinating. The artificial materials they use seem to provide very natural-looking results. I see, that's good to know. I imagine that provides people with more options for enhancing their appearance. Exactly. The technology has really improved to make the implants look and feel more seamless. That's good to hear. It's important that medical procedures like this continue advancing for people's well-being. Definitely. It's amazing how far the field of cosmetic surgery has come. Lesson 29, Bone Breaking Work Ugh, Anna, this job is really wearing me down. The work is just bone breaking. Oh no, what's going on John? Is the workload that demanding? Yes, it's so frustrating. The hours are long and the tasks are incredibly taxing. I'm sorry to hear that. That kind of work environment sounds very vexing. You got that right. I'm just so annoyed with how grueling and draining it all is. That sounds really tough. Have you thought about looking for a new job that's less demanding? 
I've considered it, but finding something else isn't easy. This work is just so bone crushing. I understand. Well, I hope you're able to find a solution to improve your work situation soon. Me too, Anna. This is really wearing me down, both physically and mentally. Lesson 30, Directions Hey Anna, could you help me with some directions? Sure, what do you need to know? I'm trying to find the entrance to the park. Which way should I go? Okay, go straight ahead and then take the first left. It should be right near the entrance. Got it, straight ahead and then left. Thanks, that's really helpful. No problem. Just follow those directions and you should have no trouble finding the park entrance. Wonderful, I appreciate you taking the time to point me in the right direction. Of course, I'm happy to help. Let me know if you need any other directions once you're there. Will do, thanks again Anna. This is going to make finding the park in trance much easier. Lesson 31, Saving Money Hey Anna, what's your New Year's resolution this year? My main goal is to save more money. How about you, what's your resolution? That's a great one. My resolution is also to be more diligent about saving. Nice, it's always a good idea to focus on financial responsibility. How do you plan to achieve that? I'm going to try cutting back on unnecessary expenses and putting more into my savings account. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm going to try meal prepping more to save on eating out. Excellent idea. Little changes like that can really add up when you're trying to save. Exactly. I'm determined to reach my savings goal this year. What about you? Any specific targets? I'd like to save up for a down payment on a house. It's an ambitious goal, but I'm motivated. Lesson 32, Beach Getaway Hey Anna, I just got back from an amazing trip to Phuket. I stayed at a beachfront resort called Padong Beach Hotel, and it was fantastic. Wow, that sounds wonderful. I've always wanted to visit Phuket. What was your favorite part about the resort? The location was incredible. I could walk right out from the hotel onto the white sandy beach. The sunsets were absolutely breathtaking. That's so dreamy. Did you get a chance to do any fun activities while you were there? Yes, I went snorkeling and saw the most colorful coral reefs. The water was crystal clear and the marine life was incredible. That must have been an amazing experience. I'll have to add that to my travel bucket list. You definitely should. The resort also had great restaurants and a really nice pool area. I didn't want to leave.
It sounds like the perfect beach getaway. I'm glad you had such a wonderful time. Maybe we can plan a trip there together someday. That's a great idea. I'd love to go back and explore more of Phuket with you. Lesson 33, The Rise of Personal Computers Hey Anna, did you know that personal computers used to be a rarity? Really? I find that hard to believe, they're so ubiquitous these days. Yeah, back in the day, only governments and large companies had access to computers. Wow, I can't imagine a time when computers weren't widely available. When did that start to change? Well, throughout the 1980s and 1990s, personal computers became more affordable and accessible to the general public. That's fascinating. What was the driving force behind the increased availability of computers? Advancements in technology played a big role. As processors became smaller and more powerful, the cost of computers dropped significantly. I see. So the average person could actually afford to have a computer at home? Exactly. Companies like IBM, Apple, and Microsoft made huge strides in developing user-friendly personal computers. Lesson 34, Morning Stretches Hey Anna, I just woke up and did my morning stretches. I find it really helps me feel energized for the day. That's great, John. I do some light yoga in the mornings too. It's such a nice way to start the day. Absolutely. I usually wake up around 6.30 and spend 15 to 20 minutes stretching. It really gets my body moving. Same here. I love how refreshed and focused it makes me feel. Do you have a favorite stretch you always do? Hmm, I'd say my go-to is the downward dog. It really opens up my shoulders and hamstrings. Ooh yes, that's a good one. I'm partial to the child's pose, it's so calming and grounding. Ah yes, the child's pose is perfect for winding down the morning routine. I try to end with that one. It's the perfect way to transition into the day. I feel so much more alert and ready to tackle whatever comes my way. Couldn't agree more. Morning stretches are a game changer. Sets the tone for a productive and energized day. Lesson 35, Establishing Industry Expertise Hey Anna, I was reading about how providing valuable and relevant content can help establish one as an industry expert. That's really interesting, John. Building that kind of authority and credibility is so important these days. Definitely. I've been thinking about ways I can create more engaging and informative content for my audience. That's a great goal. What kind of topics are you hoping to cover that would position you as an expert? Well, I'd love to dive deeper into the latest trends and innovations in our industry. I think people would find that really useful. Absolutely. 
sharing your insights and analysis on emerging developments would make you a go-to resource. Exactly. And I want to make sure the content is accessible and actionable, not just dense and academic. Good call. Finding that right balance of depth and clarity is key to keeping people engaged. Absolutely. I'm excited to start brainstorming some ideas. I think it could really help take my business to the next level.